Stardust Time with Bob and Ray. Jack Headstrong. Jack Headstrong. Jack Headstrong. Jimmy Powers. Jack Headstrong. All American American. Yes, boys and girls, it's time again to join Jack, Billy, Uncle Jim, and Betty as Jack works on his newest invention, an atomic phonograph. And in his factory at Hudson, we hear Jack say... Over here, just a second, Uncle Jim. Oh, Jack. Quiet, what is Billy, it? there's no time for Quiet, that now. Billy. Quiet, Uncle Jim, there's no time for that now. You want the loudspeaker now, Jack? Yes, please. All right. I'll just... Oh, it's got a picture of a dog on it, Jack. Quiet, Billy, there's no time for that now. Billy, you'll have to be quiet. Jack's been working on this for a good many weeks now. This is the first test, and if it works out, you really have something. Well, the cat certainly hasn't got your tongue, Uncle Jim, has he, eh? Quiet, Uncle Jim. Quiet, Billy, there's no time. Quiet, everybody. Well, let's try it out, Jack. (laughs) Is the voice on that little cylinder (laughs) going... Need an, need an adjustment, Jack. No, I think the only thing here. Well, you fool, Billy. Why don't you watch well, what you're doing? Well, I wasn't doing? working right, Jack. So but that I didn't mean for you to reach over, pick it up, and smash it against the wall. Oh, that's an expensive piece of equipment, Billy. Yeah, don't you have another one, Jack? You can yes, try I have it. one here. I think maybe that either we have to slow down the speed of this cylinder or well, learn to listen faster. I think we'll give it one more try. No. It's impossible for me to learn to listen any quicker than I am right now, and it's gibberish to me. I'm listening as fast as I can, Jack, and I don't get a word it's of gibberish it. to you, too, eh? Right? Well, Billy, don't throw that one away, too. It might work later. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle I'm afraid Jim. I'll have to ask both you, Uncle Jim, and you, Billy, to leave my experimental garage. I think that's a very good idea, Jack. Come on, Billy. Where's your tricycle? It's right outside, Uncle Jim. So once again, Jack's latest experiment fails to work. But will he be daunted? Be sure and listen next time when we'll hear Jack say, I'm afraid you could describe me as being soft as a grape, yes. In the next episode of Jack Headstrong, All-American-American. American.